Well, we stayed at, like we had planned, we stayed at a Deer Creek Shelter last night. We stopped about 3.2 miles from town at that shelter just so, you know, trying to watch a budget a little bit and it would have been winter town, it would have been, it would have cost us at least 40 bucks, 20 a piece for the hostel. So by camping up there last night, we saved some money. Hey, over a six to seven month hike, which we think it's gonna take us, kinda gotta watch it a little bit. It's been uh it'll be pretty much all downhill into hot springs. It's a it's a cool little town. We section hiked it back in 2012. Uh one disappointing thing is they don't have any fast food. I was really craving a Big Mac. Met a girl up on the trail, walking her dog from Hot Springs, and I asked her if they had any fast food in town, and she said, we don't even have fast food in this county. So, hmm, that tells you a little something. But I know there's a Smoky Mountain Diner. We ate there before. I uh, get a late breakfast there, hopefully today, and uh, try to get into one of the uh, hostels and if they're expensive compared to the hotel, maybe we'll do the hotel if it's like $10 more. Sometimes it is. But we'll show you around town when we get there. I don't know if all hikers think like this, but we love to get out in the woods and this journey is something I've looked forward to for a long time and to get away from the city and all the day-to-day -day stuff and but when you're sleeping on the ground and you're up in years and you're eating dehydrated food and cliff bars when you get near a town you get excited again it's like now you're excited to get back to the stuff that you left that you wanted to get away from uh, my metabolism is really high and one of my biggest fears about this hike was the weight loss and the average male loses 30 pounds on a from Georgia to Maine and with my metabolism I really got to try to eat and I'm gonna succeed in that today I hope the Smoky Mountain Diner is open when we get there you can start seeing parts of the outskirts of town appear in in the video and we are close we're real close and it's about nine o'clock in the morning so hopefully some stuff will be open